Hello and welcome to your full moon video for the full moon in Pisces of the 9th of September 2014. If you're in the United Kingdom, the full moon takes place at about 2.30 in the morning of the 9th. If you're on the east coast of the states, that'll be 9.30 in the evening on the 8th. Uh, west coast of the states, it'll be roughly about 6.30. If you want to know the time of the full moon in your country, if you're not in either of these places, you can go on to timeanddate.com and you can make the adjustment necessary uh, with the time in order to have a good idea of what the time would be for the full moon. So before we get into what this full moon is about, I'd like to talk a little bit about what it is that makes people content. Certainly we all have our challenges in life. Life is always full of ups and downs, even with the most contented of lives. But isn't it all about how we deal with those downs that uh, determines how we um, associate with a contented lifestyle or whether we have a contented lifestyle or not? Um, I seem to think that's the case, right? Um, if we can see the blessing within a difficult time frame, then we can understand that there's prosperity in every single moment available to us. And it really just depends upon whether we're able to tune in to what the, uh, the blessing in the situation might be. Sometimes it's with retrospect that we're able to see that. Sometimes we can't see it at all, and we all go to those places from time to time. But leading a contented life, I think, deals with being able to remain stable during those down times. And there's not a single individual I don't know that doesn't get affected by down times and sometimes goes into a state of instability. But it's how balanced you can be in those times that really makes the difference. What you're focusing on, whether you're focusing on the difficulty and the negativity that you're experiencing, or whether you're focusing on something that inspires you or how to find a way out of that difficulty you're trying to maintain a positive attitude. Those are the things that really make a difference. And with this full moon, that type of an attitude, a prosperous attitude, a positive attitude, can really make quite a lot of difference. The full moon is in a section of Pisces that is called Purva Bhadrapada. I talked about this in the weekly video, if you want to watch that as well. But Purva Bhadrapada is about upliftment and elevation. Uh, if we're focusing on something that's intensively difficult and focusing on how difficult it is, this full moon will tend to amplify that. But if we set our intent on finding something positive in our lives, trying to find direction and trying to find purpose, that too will be supported. Most unhappiness in life I have experienced is by people just somehow being out of alignment with, um, with what they're intended to do at this time. Um, now you can argue that well, if you're out of alignment that is part of your destiny. I'm sure on a certain level that is true. But the idea is finding out the reason that we're here, finding the purpose that we're here, and trying to live authentically in that space. That's what the universe is asking for, is for us to fulfill our destiny within the time that's allotted to us here on the planet. Now in the present time, we tend to deal with uh, the difficulties of economy, um, having to pay rent, having to pay all the bills. And so a lot of people tend to do things, especially in terms of career, where they're not quite as happy as they would like to be, they're not feeling fulfilled, because really all they're doing is trying to pay the bills and many times not having an easy time doing so. But if you're doing what you enjoy, even if you're having a hard time paying the bills, at least you're focusing on the things that you were put here for, and your life begins to feel like it has purpose. Now with this full moon, it forms a harmonious angle with Pluto and Capricorn that's very empowering. Pluto is in Purva Ashada. Purva Ashada relates to the causal nature of the soul. The soul in its true natural state, attracting to it the prosperity that it needs in order to succeed in this lifetime. It deals with killing away layers of the ego, and I don't mean being egotistical. What I mean are the mind games that we play on ourselves, the should'ves, the would'ves, and the could'ves that keep us from leading a successful life, or I better do 
believe this or I should really stick with this job even though it doesn't feel fulfilling. But if it's not in harmony with who you truly are, it's ultimately not going to make you happy. Eventually you'll get stressed out. Sometimes you may even get sick mixed in with all of that energy. So this is about focusing your intent on what you were put here for. That's one of the things that's very powerfully supported by this and putting your passion behind it. So if things are difficult, focus on where you might be being guided to focus your attention for the soul. Place your focus there. If you'd like a little bit of help in finding that direction, I'm more than happy to, you know, set up a consultation with you and take a look at your chart for you. And you can find out from looking at your chart some of the areas that you need to be focusing your attention in this lifetime in terms of uh, career purpose and what, what you're put here on the planet to do. Basically, it's about, um, you know, dealing with our responsibilities abilities here on the planet and by responsibilities I don't just mean paying the rent and paying the bills. I mean doing what you were put here to do. Sometimes that pays off for people and sometimes they end up having to do some things on the side to you know, keep the money coming in. But if you're focusing more on what you're put here for, then your life is going to feel more contented. You're going to feel like your life has purpose. I can guarantee it to you. So if you're not doing it yet, it's time to start focusing your attention in that direction. So what are you waiting for? That's going to do it for your full moon video forecast. Until next time, which will actually be a uh, solar eclipse video, because solar eclipses happen on the moon. Until next time, take very good care of yourself.